Hi everyone, it's Grandma Jackie. I'm back and I've got a grocery haul this time. I don't know how this is going to work because I've never done this before and we don't hardly ever get a bunch of groceries at one time. We usually stock up on the sales and things. Anyways, I need to get started. Um, I worked the night chef last night and slept a little bit. Got some groceries, haven't ate anything yet today, and I need to get in the shower and get dressed for work again. Okay, we got a little thing of orange juice. It is... What the heck? Oh, it's Prairie Farms. It's got plus calcium in it. My husband likes that kind. And then we got a thing of, we always get 2% milk. And we did go shopping at Kirby Foods IGA. So there's those two things. I picked up a thing of YoPlay original with the strawberry banana yogurt. And then I got salad topping stuff that has like cranberries and pecans in it. I was going to mix in with it. I thought that would be really good. I'm going to make bag noise. I just, I've got to. I got a package of this budding ham. That's the kind of lunch meat I eat. My husband got him a package of this um, Prime Fresh chicken breast. I think from the deli. I'm not sure about prices. I'll tell you if I remember. But I did get a couple packages of the Big Slice Sharp Cheese and Colby Jack. And these I think were two for five. Two packs of mozzarella uh, two for six two for five okay these are two for five too we used up all our mozzarella the other day whenever the grandkids were here sorry for reaching and we just making pizzas so we had to replenish our mozzarella so we also got a couple bags of craft sharp cheddar and these were two for five as well Um, did get a package of the romaine hearts on, on the lettuce. We've really been eating this more than the regular head of lettuce because it lasts longer and it's better. And my husband's putting stuff up as I go. And we got a head of cauliflower. Um, we haven't bought cauliflower in like probably two or three weeks. So it was time for that again. The reason why I like this store is because their meat selection is good. We are a meat-eating family. Um, we picked up... I have round steak. Mechanically tenderized, and it was $2.40. There's that. Sorry for reaching. I have to put it over in the chair. I did get two packs of the minute steaks. Um, one pack was $2.88 and the other pack was $2.94. It's really good. Good looking meat. We picked up a pack of assorted pork chops and they were $1.49 a pound and we paid $3.91 for this. So I thought that was a really good deal. These are really good in the oven with some shake and bake. Shake and bake. Oh my lord. Heaven's the best. Okay. Got two great big packs of this. We usually get the 80-20 on the hamburger, but this is 75% lean, so that's not bad. So we got a big pack, $10.40. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And this big old pack was $10.23. I would tell you how much is in it, but I don't know how much. Um, 
4.67 pounds. I think he's going to patty up some hamburgers for supper too. Okay, well, I'm in the shower or something. Okay. I did go to the Dollar Tree before I went anywhere over there. <clears throat> so I got a little bit of a Dollar Tree haul, but the only thing cold that I got from there was these mozzarella sticks. I really like them. So I hauled them to get them put up. We got um, a bag of the Terrific Trio, the Little Potato Company. It has all the different colors of little potatoes in there. There's purple ones. This is really good, and this was on sale for $1.99. We really like, like those if you put them in the oven with some olive oil and some Parmesan cheese. Really good if you clean them and then cut them in half. Yeah. And then, of course, a bag of onions. Like, okay. Um, 24-pack RC, $5.99. That's a really good deal. I don't get um, RC soda very often, but a couple of really good-looking tomatoes I probably ought to show you. I don't know what the price was. It was a dollar something a pound. Not too bad. little pack of the mini cucumbers. Now this was a little pricey. I think it was $3.99 or something like that. I do love them though and I eat I eat them. So I wasn't going to get it but my husband's like, there's some cucumbers you like. I'll go ahead and get them. And these mini sweet peppers. We was going to go to Aldi's but Aldi's is closed for remodeling. So that's why we went to um, this Kirby Foods IGA and actually I'm kind of glad that we did um, this was pretty much the same price as all these I don't remember a couple dollars I love these little things in your salad you can eat them with hummus I like to eat them with the sweet or the roasted red pepper hummus so that's good a big thing of grapefruit and it is the Ruby Pample House. Nope. Ruby Pample Moose. <laughs> grapefruit. I got my granddaughter Gracie to eat in grapefruit. I even, my mother-in-law had bought me a couple Christmases ago the grapefruit spoons. And I even gave one of them to my granddaughter Gracie so she could eat it. My husband picked up a loaf of bread. Um, he also picked up a couple pebbles. Um, and then the last two items for grocery wise is mine. I love this this bread. And that's so bright. This um, Italian herb, I love it. You can put your your food in the center of it, fold it over, and just yeah. You can tell I'm getting hungry. And then of course my coffee. French vanilla, Dunkin' Donuts. My favorite coffee. It's the smoothest. It's not. I don't like really strong coffee. And then, and then I use this coffee and the International um, Delight or whatever for French vanilla in it too. So that was a very fast. I can't believe I made it through all that. Uh, grocery shopping haul. That's why I said we don't hardly go grocery shopping. We just kind of get things when they're on sale and stock up when, when we do so anyways I'm going to um, go ahead and try to get around and start getting situated for work I can't believe I just turned that sorry <laughs> um, thank you for watching this video if you would give it a thumbs up that helps me out um, comment down below um, if you've seen something that looked good to you Anyways, I got to get off here. Um, everybody stay safe and I'll talk to you later.